Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going lovely. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to create a project, a couple of them actually, um, and my project is actually for a blog hop. Cypress so Stamp is celebrating a brand new release called Hello Gorgeous, and to celebrate their release they're having a blog hop. This is day two of the blog hop, um, so I hope you can join in the fun, and I'll leave my link down below in case you guys want to check it out. There is a giveaway to go with it, too, so um, giveaways are always nice. <laughs> but there's some new products that I was super excited about. Um, there is the Stained Glass Bird. And I, this is the size of it here. I like that it's indexed on top of the envelope. Um, and it's the size. Well, let me show you. So it is perfect size for card making. And we will be creating a card with this. And then the nice thing about this is there is a coordinating stencil. I already sprayed Pixie Spray behind it. This is actually um, backwards. <laughs> but it's nice because... You can use your stencil for coloring in even certain areas, which makes it, well, that's not the right area. <laughs> but we're going to use this for our project today. So we're going to use the stencil and the die, the stained glass bird die. And then I'm going to make a, a pretty quick and easy card with this stencil. I've never created a, um, or stenciled with a, um, a card with, a reverse stencil and so this is new too I'm not sure of the name of this just yet but um, I'll link it down below in the description area but it has some beautiful they look like Gerber daisies um, and I was uh, super excited to be able to try this on a card so we're gonna be using this for another card there's also a few extra new items in the shop I wanted to share with you um, and there is the Sweet Birds stamp set. I'll be creating a card with this later on down the road. And then there is also a brand new Mother's Day stamp set. It's called All About Mom. So I think I might pair these two together. I'm not sure. But there's a, if you're looking for a great Mother's Day um, stamp set, this is nice bold letters called All About Mom. So we're going to just create with these today. Let's jump in with doing some die cutting. Now, I'm going to actually create, I wanted to create like a stained glass look, literally. So I'm going to take this and I'm, I'm going to die cut this out with some white cardstock. Um, I'm going to die cut it out four times and um, two of these birds. I'm actually going to put some double-sided adhesive behind it. It's just going to make it easier. But two of them I'm not. I just want the um, the outline frame of the bird. And so two with double-sided adhesive, two without. Um, I'm going to run this through my die-cut machine and then I will be right back. Okay, we have our two birds. Now I separated them because I think it's going to make it easier for, um, for me when I layer them together or separate them. Now we're going to take our stained glass bird stencil and I'm going to use not the, the most solid but I'm going to use the one that is, has actually the, the detail of the bird. I'm going to line it up on my panel here and it lines up beautifully. And then we're going to bring in some Distress Oxide inks. Since we're kind of, I'm going to zoom in. Since we're kind of doing a, but isn't that bird pretty? I don't even think I showed you. Isn't that so pretty? So dainty. I think it looks pretty just like this. <laughs> um, but I wanted to create a stained glass look with some very soft Eastery colors, some springy colors. So I'm using my Distress Oxide inks. And I have four colors. I have Kitsch Flamingo, Twisted Citron, Squeezed Lemonade, and Salvaged Patina. So we're going to start by doing the breath, um, the whole body of the bird with Squeezed Lemonade. Now I chose Squeezed Lemonade because I think it's a great color that will blend well with the rest of the colors. So if it overlaps, I think that's, that's going to make it even look prettier. So let's go over our stained glass bird with our yellow and all in all really for this one you just basically need to go over um, 
the face area of the bird because we're going to actually do a little bit of layering and so you really don't need the rest of the body of the bird. Okay, next what we're going to do is put this aside and if you want to do the next few steps on this one and just die cut out a couple more backgrounds, you very well could. I think that would work out the exact same. So we're going to set these aside and now we're going to go, we're going to do the breast of the bird. We'll layer our stencil and again, I already have pixie spray behind here so it's going to be lightly tacked. I am going to go in with my next color and I'm going to use my Kitsch Flamingo, some pink. Add a little bit of color here. And I'm going to go over this part. And again, if you wanted to skip this step and just do the same thing on this, you very well could. But I, wa I wanted this to be, um, to have a little bit of height. So after we have our Kitsch Flamingo, I'm going to use what the ink that's left over on my um, Squeeze Lemonade. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of shading on the bottom. This is going to turn it into a nice, pretty, orangey, corally color. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the very top of the bird's head here. So we're going to line this up, tack that down. We'll go over it with our blending brush. And then we'll add a little bit of the yellow, maybe towards the top. And I just think that this is coming along so pretty. This makes it so easy, especially if you want that white outline. I just love this. Okay. Next we're going to do, we're going to take the wing of the bird. We'll line this up. Our next color, we're going to use Salvage Patina. And I'll go over our wing. And then we're going to add a little bit of that squeeze lemonade. I may have to add a little bit more color. We'll see. So pretty. I love the spring colors of this. Okay, now we have our little tail. Last but not least, and I'm not going to add any yellow to this, but I am going to bring in my um, Twisted Citron. And we'll just add some yellow here. Maybe add a little blue. How about if we add a little bit of blue? Yeah, there we go. And I think that's going to work out great. Okay, after we have this done, I'm going to carefully lift this up. Kind of going to try and pop it out with keeping every all the pieces in. And then I'm going to do I'm going to layer this directly on top of here, but I don't want the birdie's face. So I'm going to take that out. I want just a little bit of dimension and so a little bit of height variance without um Using all but one piece. We're going to layer this right on top of our existing one. And then I have that one piece left. We'll pick this up and add that. There we go. Pick this up. Okay, put these inks away, otherwise I'll get them everywhere. And then we're going to take our outline, and you can see you have that this is um, one level lower than the rest. I'm going to go ahead, and if you want to use glue, you could use glue to adhere this, but I'm going to use my um, adhesive runner. Now I went ahead and layered both of my 
outline pieces together. You can see here. So now we have a little bit more dimension. Now I'm keep now once we remove this, it's going to be one sticker. I'm hoping <laughs> you can see here. Um, but we're going to set this aside, and we are going to do a little bit more die cutting. So I have a piece of white cardstock, and I also have um, a piece of uh, maybe a teal colored. I think that's going to go really good with our card. I'm going to die cut out some leaves, and I'm going to be using the Simon Says Stamp Detailed Leaf Cluster. Now, I don't know if you know this, but Simon has a stencil for this one also. So you could actually do the same thing that I did here with this, with the stencil. But I'm just going to die cut this out with white cardstock. And then I'm also going to take the Simon Says Stamp uh, Bold Hello. And I'm going to die cut this out with the teal card stock and also with some fun foam. Okay, I went ahead. This is such a... I got lucky and all of my pieces stayed in. And I thought that looked really pretty. So rather than punching them out, you can see that they... Well, that they punch out. Instead of punching, punching them out, I'm going to keep them intact. Okay, and this is going to be a little bit long for my card base. You can see. But we're going to end up trimming that. So I'm not worried about that one. I'm going to take my hello. I'm going to add a little bit of glue behind here. And we'll go ahead and tack this down and give this so we have a little bit of time for this to adhere. And we'll just add that to our hello. And I will set that over there. And I'm going to do a little bit of ink blending just with the ink that's left over from my Twisted Citron. I'm just going to go around the edges. I don't know if you could barely see that, but we have a little bit of color on there. Okay, I'm going to zoom back out now. What we're going to do is take some white cardstock and I want to create a frame. So I'm going to be using my double stitched rectangle dies and I'll take the largest and the second largest and I'm going to layer these together and die cut these out to create a frame. There's my frame and I love that I have stitch detail on the front, um, on the inside and the outside. Now I also die cut out um, the background so I have a background panel that's um, the same exact size. Now I have a piece of acetate. I'm going to adhere to the back of my frame. We're not going to make a shaker card, but I did want it to give it a kind of a stained glass look. So I'm just using my tape runner and we're going to ad adhere our acetate behind our, um, our frame. And then what we're going to do next is take Our floors. I'm going to use my scissors. I'm going to do a little bit of snipping. And then I'll add some adhesive behind the bottom leaves. I think that looks really pretty. And then I'll add some adhesive behind a few of these. I'm not, I'm not adding adhesive behind all of them because I kind of like that free flowing look. And I may have to add a little bit of adhesive here just so they don't pop out. <laughs> now after we have this done, we are going to take our bird and then we're going to carefully remove the release paper and hopefully we don't lose any pieces. And there we have our bird intact. I'm going to go ahead and place this beautiful little bird right here. And then I'm going to take my sentiment and I'm going to add a little bit of glue and we're going to place this down here on our, our window also. Now I'm not turning this into the, a shaker card, but um, you could very well do that. I'm going to add my hello. That's a good spot. I 
I'm going to flip this around and we're going to add some foam tape behind here. And then I'm going to take our background panel. I'm going to add a little bit of shading. And I'm going to be using the leftover ink that's on my blending brush and add some Kitsch Flamingo. Again, my yellow. And I'll add a little bit to the top. Okay, I think that looks good. Now, I want to add a little bit of softness back here. Um, so I'm going to do a little splattering of some water. We'll just pick up any excess. And I'm going to give this a little bit of time to dry. And in the meantime, I, you know, I didn't even check to see if my leaves are going to overhang on my card base. And they are. So I'm going to pick these up. I had to do a little bit of rearranging on my leaves because they were overhanging on my card base. But no worries. We did a quick fix and then I'm going to flip this around. I'm going to be using some Simon's Stamp Moonshine. But I'm going to do... Um, some selective <laughs> placing here. So our we have room over here and then a little bit above the sentiment over here. So that's where we'll add a few sequins. Okay, I think that's gonna work out. We have oh we have one we got a loose we have a straggler. Let's glue that down. And I think we are going to be in luck. I think I need to scoot this one up a little bit. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and adhere my panel to my background. And again, if you wanted to turn this into a shaker, you could. But I'm just going for that that window kind of a feel. I'm going to adhere this to my card base. Just using my tape runner. Um, last but not least, to give this a stained glass look, I'm going to take some glossy accents and I'm going to fill in. Okay, I think that looks great. Now, it looks like I overfilled it, but I went over the entire thing. But what's going to happen is when the glossy accent dries, it's going to concave um, and fill in each one of those recessed areas. Um, in fact, I did one earlier. I wanted to show you what, what I mean by that. But you can see how it concaves. It, it actually fills in those areas. It really does look like stained glass. I just love this effect. Okay, so once we have our first project done, I love the soft look of this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish our next project, which is really, really easy. I think you're going to be surprised how easy this is going to be. Now I have our, our a piece of white cardstock. Now this is an A2 size panel. And then we are going to take our stencil. And I'm, call, I'm going to call the... I already put pixie spray behind it. It, it stencils so pretty. Let me show you. I'm going to place this on my panel and I'm going to leave this in my entire card front panel. So I think that's a good spot. It is overhanging just a little bit, but that's okay. This is where Pixie Spray comes in so handy. Now we're going to use the same colors that we used of uh, Distress Oxide ink that we used for our first project. Now I'm going to go over the daisies with my Kit Flamingo. And um, I want to feel the entire background. So I want my one. These remind me of Gerber Daisy. So that's what I was going for. So we're going to add some pink to one. And then we have um, a pink daisy over here. And I'm going outside the lines. But that's kind of what the, the card's going to be about. Just going outside the lines here. Now actually uh, we have our pink. Our next color, we're going to go in with our yellow, which is our squeeze lemonade. I'm going to add this to the very top flower here. 
Lovely. And then we're going to go in with salvaged patina. And we're going to color in this bottom daisy. Really pretty. And then I'm going to go in these corners with some extra color. Um, so while this one is open, I'm going to go ahead and add my salvage patina up here. And I don't mind if they overlap. You want to be careful with this one going over the pink because you don't want the pink to run into the salvage patina because it might turn a little muddy. But I am going to use my Twisted Citron and there's some leaves in here. And so I'm going to go over those. Just bring that green all the way over here. And I think that looks good. So we filled in basically our entire background. Okay, so we have our stencil still on there. Now before I remove it, I'm going to use my towel here and I'm going to go over it. For me, it's always easier to clean my stencils while it's adhered to my panels. But you can see what it's kind of going to look like. Okay, now I'm going to do the reveal carefully, carefully, because this is a delicate stencil. And you might need a little bit of help picking it up. A little nudge, I should say. And oh my goodness. So our stencil is clean. And isn't that so pretty? Oh, I just think that's so pretty. Love the way this looks. So that's going to be our background. I'm going to set this aside and then we're going to do a quick sentiment. And I'm going to die cut out You Are Enough. This is an older die from Simon. And it has the shadow and then it has the You Are Enough. And I'm going to die cut out the shadow with white. And then I'm going to die cut out You Are Enough. Um, about three times and then I'm going to layer these together. Then I'm going to layer that on my white ones. Once we have adhesive behind our sentiment, I'm going to layer it on the white ones. And I got quite a bit of height here. So I have three white ones and then my very top ink blended one. You can see the, how much dimension you can see. I'll take the shadow and then we'll place our sentiment on our shadow. There's a few pieces I gotta punch out. You can line up here. Okay, and then we can flip this around. I'm going to add some adhesive behind here. And I'll flip my panel around. We'll add some adhesive behind here. And this is going to go directly on my card base. This is, again, a pretty simple card, but I just love how soft it is. And then we'll finish this off with some of those sequins. Okay, just a few. And then I think I want to add a little bit of sparkle to this as well. Some unicorn stickles. I would use diamond stickles, but I'm currently out. I need to replenish. But there's some little dots on these daisies and I'm going to add just a few. And then a pretty quick and easy card. One layer but I just think it turned out lovely. So that's project one. And then again, this is gonna take a little bit of time to dry, but that is our project number two. I hope you can join in the blog op. Again, this is day two, if you missed day one. Um, I suggest starting over at Simon's and Stamp blog. Um, starting in the uh, beginning is always a great place to start. Have a great day, we will see you soon, bye-bye.